This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Squarespace. Haley Barber uh, has fascinatingly uh, decided to give an indefinite suspension of sentence to two African-American women in uh, prison in Mississippi. Uh, now, remember, he just got in trouble for supporting uh, the Citizens Council, which was like a, um, a milder version, if there could be a milder version, of the Ku Klux Klan. And they w had run on a campaign of white supremacy. And he said, oh, come on, they weren't that bad. They ran our town in the civil rights era and everything was fine. And the civil rights era wasn't that bad, which are all, of course, incredibly outrageous comments. And then look at this wonderful coincidence. He happens to release these two African-American women. And then the president of the NAACP, Ben Jealous, uh, says that Haley Barber, quote, a shining example of the way a governor should use the power of clemency. Oh, so, so his plan completely worked. Yeah, I think what happens is, like, he does the, you know, the, the uh, at the very least... In our terms, racialist talk to get his right wing base, and because he's planning on running for president, and say, "Hey, aren't I such a wonderful racist? You're on my side." And then he goes out to the NAACP or others and goes, "Look, look, look! You tell everybody that I'm a shining example of awesomeness, and I will release these women from prison." So, in a sense, if that's true, if that's how it went down behind the scenes, and we don't know if there was really a quid pro quo. But if that's what happened behind the scenes, he's basically holding these women hostage. You see what I'm saying? Yes. By the way, what did they do? Uh, Jamie and Gladys Scott were sisters when they were teenagers. They uh, ambushed uh, two men in central Mississippi and stole $11 from them. Oh, wow. You know what they got? A life sentence? Uh, l life sentences. Oh, that's unbelievable. Now, look, it, there, there's more you know complicating circumstances it was a bad robbery they had a shotgun on them and they and they hit each man in the head with the shotgun they didn't fire but they hit it and they took their wallets their wallets only happened to have 11 dollars i think it's a very serious crime okay so i'm not downplaying that life sentences they were teenagers it seems a bit much right uh by the way uh, Haley barber put one more uh, condition on uh release uh, one of the sisters, Gladys Scott, uh, must give her kidney to Jamie Scott. That's interesting. Yeah. Jamie uh, needs a kidney to be able to live. Uh, she's on dialysis. By the way, that leads to the second reason Haley Barber let go. Uh, treating Jamie was costing the state of Mississippi $200,000 a year. So now if they let her go, she's on her own. Mm hmm she's So... It's, and, and it's, you... it's mercy with a twist. She's like, you have to give up the kidney, which, by the way, the sister's perfectly happy to do, and then you have to pay your own bills. Good luck. Get out of here. Right, which is going to be extremely difficult, especially considering the economy and considering the fact that they've been in jail for however long. It's almost impossible. No, 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 and I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure the insurance companies can't wait to give them uh, insurance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me just ask you. Yeah, question. I'm sure they'll be like, oh, you already uh, have this enormous problem with your kidney? No, 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 we won't count that as a pre-existing condition. That doesn't seem fair. Uh, Jenk, let me ask you a question, man. Um, yep. How many people died in that robbery for $11? Uh, zero. I, I'm, I, I just feel like that's just a point that I think both was, as we, I think you mentioned uh, for a second, was kind of passed over by, by Ben Jealous, and, and he's a shining example. How about the whole... The, the the injustice of the sentence in the first place, which of course they said it was a civil rights case, people were outraged about it at the time, but it kind of gets swept under the rug. Sixteen years in prison mm -hmm. for and they didn't hit the guy. I, I, like I said, I'm I'm not gonna like pardon them for being a part of the crime. They led these guys into the crime where other accomplices did the actual action of hitting them in the head with the butts of the guns and all that stuff and stealing their wallets. I just don't think that. I mean, to, to even go to Haley Barber's part in, uh, in, in releasing him with the kidney part, all these other twists of the story seem like just cobwebs to cover the fact that it was ridiculous in the first place. And it should, it should have been talked about since 1994. But, you know, who cares? A couple of black women. It, you know, look, Jay, I hear you. And those are all great points. And by the way, I should also clarify, and I'm glad you clarified it, but that they didn't hit him. Uh, they actually are 36 and 38 now. They've been in, sitting in prison, as you said, for 16 years. So they weren't teenagers they were just young when they did it okay they were about 20 and 22 years old 
And uh, JR, that's why people had taken up this case for a long time. And so what happens now is Haley Barber is like, oh, great. I killed two birds with one stone. Before, I wasn't releasing them. But now I get to get rid of some money out of the prison system because we don't have to treat her anymore. And plus, I get to have the NAACP president call me a shining example when I just got in massive uh, racial trouble. So for Barber, it's a smart political move, but as you point out, incredibly craven political maneuvering. New sponsor at the Young Turks. Squarespace. They help you build websites. They've got 24-7 support, and they've built some of the largest websites in the world. They have an iPhone app, so you can edit your website on the go. TYT promo code. 10% off for the life of your order. Squarespace.